Hi, I'm Andrew from Ether Automation. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to automate some more dropshipping processes using Zoho Creator. So if you remember the last video, I showed you how to create POs and line them up to the, the orders. In this video, we're going to look at a little more complicated of a use case where your POs may have materials. Um, you may need to generate a work order to assemble the finished product. Um, so we're going to automate that. Let me just share my screen here. Hopefully it's the right screen. Otherwise, this will be a short video. Cool. So right now I'm in Zoho Creator. And if you remember from the previous videos, right, there are a, a couple of changes. So uh, I've made a vendors module with our vendors. And then the products are actually linked up to those particular vendors. Right. And then if I open up a product, you can see that we have materials there. So if I look at the drink, which I created on the previous video, we have a bottle and liquid that are required in order to assemble uh, the drink before it can be shipped out. Right. So that means we have a materials module as well. Right. Um, shows us the available for use. And later video, I'm going to show you how to um, uh, have this automatically update when you receive orders. Right. So for this video, we're going to modify the function we created in the previous video. Right. So that was the one that created purchase orders when a uh, order is placed from from your customer. And this one, we're going to modify that function so that it adds materials if there are materials required, um, as well as it's going to create a work order. And if you look here, we have this work order module that shows us the product we need and the material list. So uh, we just, there we go. So this is the, the function we made in the last one, right? So we're gonna uh, read over this based on the comments super quickly. And then we're gonna add some new comments to show you how you would modify this script. So it starts out that we get the order, right? From the order from the customer. Then we make a list of vendors required to fulfill the order based on the product info. Right. Then we create a purchase order for each vendor and we add the line items to that, that PO. So the changes here, uh, it, it's there are minor changes, but let's actually kind of go through this. So we want to make a list of vendors required to fill the orders based on product uh, and materials. Right. Then we want to create a, a purchase order for each vendor. Right. So we create a purchase order. Then we want to um, get the products and check if materials are required. If no materials, continue. If materials are required, um make PO for those uh, materials. And then finally, let me just close that out. Create a work order with the products required, the materials required, and uh, and relate the created EOs. Let's go ahead and save that just so we have the comments in there, All right? So let's uh, let's go through this and let's make the modifications that uh, that we need. So in this one, it says for each line item in the order line item products, right? We may actually need to extend that right, dot product materials, right? Um, yeah, so let's let's go ahead and, and do that. For each uh, uh, products, if line item dots, and uh, we are looking at the products, Product materials, 
that size equals zero, then that's this case, right? So if there's no materials required, we just add the product into the vendor list. Now, we're gonna switch this to uh, the word vendors, right? Because we swapped over from a string field or single line field to a, um, uh, uh, an ID, like a lookup field. Vendors, and then vendors. Go ahead and save that. In case it's not getting the actual product for us, right? So what we're gonna do, we are going to put this on the outside. Product, product, materials. So now basically it's gonna grab the product, check to see if there are product materials required. If there are nothing, if there's nothing in that sub form, then we just add the, uh, the vendor, okay? Uh, then we wanna go if, is not zero, then we want to add some additional logic, right? So we want to go for each record. In the product of product materials, material item. Then we want to go uh, vendor to add equals material item dot materials. And then on the materials, we have a product. And then we're just gonna add them in here as well. Here we go. So how this works is the materials, each material has a related product, right? So in this case, the product is the liquid um, and that's just so that they can go on purchase orders um, you know, with, with any of the other products, right? So then we add that to the vendor list and then we distinct the vendor list. Makes sense, right? So down here is where we want to add the next stuff. So get the product and check if materials are required, right? So we, we're already doing that here, right? Um, so I just paused the video for a second. So here we actually want to see, um, uh, do this if no uh, materials. Right, so then we add it into the the purchase order line items, right? So and dot product materials dot length equals zero. Okay, so now this, this adds the product to the vendor if the, um, the, the uh, product is supposed to go to that vendor and uh, there are no materials, right? If we do want to add, um, have the materials, then we need to go through the rest of the, the, line, the, the line items, right? So uh, for each line item, um else for each record in the product materials of the potential material, 
the material, and then we want to check that. There's a vendor. Materials dot vendors equals the vendor. Then we want to actually add that into here. Now, the only thing we need to change is the products. And to do this, we are going to go potential material dot, and then we look at the materials and we want to use the products. Point, it will either recognize that the, uh, the, the individual product doesn't have components and is for the vendor and adds it to the, the purchase order. Otherwise, it'll look through the list of components, right? Check to see if it matches the vendor and then add that into the purchase order, right? And the other thing we wanna do, uh, we'll do that in the next video actually. So then finally, we have this work order segment, right? So we wanna create the work order with the products required, right? And the related POs. So we actually wanna go and make a list of POs equals list. And then every time we make a PO, Add purchase order dot uh, ID. Now let's just make a purchase order. So now we want to create a work order. So let's go down here and do this. And let's go work orders. Uh, we've got rid of that little bug there. Let's go ahead and click save and execute. There we go. So we should have a work order and some new purchase orders. Here's our new purchase order. If I click edit, we've got the bottle and the li liquid. And then in work orders, if I go to work orders, here is our work order, right? With the related purchase order right there. So in the next video, I'm gonna show you how to add the um, inventory uh, available for each of those materials. Uh, as well as add the subform line items in the work order, because uh, Zoho Creator is a little interesting with that. Uh, if you found this video helpful, please hit that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next video.